Hello everyone. So in this video, again, I am going to continue a uh, lookup activity. Sorry, for each activity. And in this video, I will explain for each activity with a uh, lookup activity. And this kind of activity, uh, in our uh, daily use case, uh, we do use uh, too much because mostly in ETL process, first we have to look for the list of uh, data uh, sources that we. Uh, get through lookup activity then we do export or we can say copy that data to our staging environment so we need to iterate uh, for each of the source or can say for each table or for each file that we do using a for each activity okay so this combination is uh, very much uh, important and we need to uh, learn this <coughs> so let's start so what is lookup activity i already explained in my previous video and i also explained uh, like uh, this lookup activity I am going to use with uh, for each activity. So in a uh, lookup activity class, I explained how to create a lookup activity and I was using this uh, NYC taxi LDW uh, serverless uh, database. Inside that uh, we had a query select star from uh, sys dot table. So what does sys dot table do? Sys dot table will retrieve all the tables of this uh, database okay then our task will be to uh, uh, iterate uh, this uh, for each loop uh, for each table like if we have a five table in a sys dot tables uh, then for each should execute five times okay so inside the for each uh, loop we will have one copy activity that copy activity will uh, copy the data of each table to uh, any of the destination either on Azure data lake or in any uh, table of any database. Okay. So this is our task. So look up, uh, let's uh, deactivate this first. Okay. First we will see the output of lookup activity. So let's see the output of uh, look at. So in the output of lookup activity, the count is 14 means we have total 14 table. Now value value we can see it is array type. Okay. So in the value, the first name is taxi zone. So first table is taxi zone. So another table is vendor. Uh, one more table is trip type. So like that we have a total of 14 tables. Okay. So this for each activity should execute uh, 14 times. Okay, so let's uh, activate this and uh, let's see the setting of for each activity. So we can see uh, in the item uh, list of for each activity, what I am assigning activity uh, lookup one. So activity of this uh, lookup activity. Or can say I am just trying to get the output of this lookup activity. So the expression is at the rate activity and then activity name dot output. So output of this this activity and then uh, hold on. If we come to the output, uh, we see uh, output. We want to retrieve this value. Okay. We want to what we want to retrieve. We want to uh, retrieve the output of this lookup activity inside the output. We have a two things. One is count. One is value. So inside the output, we want to retrieve only value. That's why in the for each activity item act given at the rate activity activity name. If we have a different activity name here, it will be different dot output dot value. Okay output and uh, what output we want to retrieve we have want to retrieve only value we have a two output one is count one is value but we want to retrieve only value okay so if you don't know how to write this let's remove this okay go to the lookup activity we can see in activity output list we have a uh, lookup one dot count lookup one dot value array if we click it given the value array okay so instead of this, if we want lookup, uh, see these are the act activity output of this lookup. One is lookup activity output. So if we click on this, it will give all the output, count, value, everything. Okay. 
this return value leave it will explain later uh lookup count it will uh look up one count so we saw in the lookup one activity we had a count and we have one a uh, value array let me show you again let's cancel this uh in this output uh we have one uh count and one is value and this is array type that's why uh in this dynamic we can see we have one a lookup count another is lookup one value array okay so here we need uh, this value array to iterate uh, for each item of the array so let's click on sorry i did double so remove this click on this okay so what will happen my for each activity uh, will execute for each item of this value array and what are the items in the value array uh, in the value array we have the list of table okay now click on inside for each activity so inside for each activity uh, i have to perform copy activity but before performing a copy activity i just want to verify i am fetching correct uh, value or can say i am fetching a correct table name okay so <coughs> I created uh, one variable and I am assigning assigning dynamic value. So let me reassign. So what value I want to assign? I know uh, simply I know this for each activity is executing for uh, this uh, value array. That is the output of lookup activity. So simply uh, let's take uh, this item. Okay, let's take this item means uh, for each item. So for first time for each activity will execute for uh, value array like you can say uh, first value of array second time it will execute the second value of array and every time uh, i want to assign that value to some uh, variable okay so now at the rate item will get a uh, array type value okay let me show you how Uh, yeah so this value in this value uh, value is array type so in the first array we have this value array 1 array 0 have this value okay sorry this value okay and then array 1 means second value array 1 will have this value like that uh, but to we need only uh, this uh, name okay we don't need all the value we just need name okay so inside a uh, for each uh, come to the setting sorry not for each in the for each activity <coughs> we want to assign only table name okay so item is for each item is uh, giving all the value means for each item is a uh, item of for each loop giving all the value of uh, array like array 0 has a multiple value array 1 has multiple value but we need to get only name okay we don't need all things we just need a name so i am giving name item dot name let's click on ok ok now debug come to the pipeline so our goal is to get the name why because uh, the name is table name okay it succeeded so let's see it is uh, we have a total of uh, 14 tables so we can see a uh, total set variable uh, executed 14 times so one value is taxi let's see the first value taxi zone second value is a uh, calendar this is the table name third is a uh, trip type this is also table name uh, the fourth is a uh, rate code this is also table name so we are able to retrieve a successfully a table name so our work one work is done we are able to retrieve the table name okay now what is our next work our next work is to uh, copy the data of this table to Azure Data Lake account. Okay. Now come to the for loop. <coughs> so <coughs> we 
deactivate this now going to perform a copy activity okay so in this copy activity will copy the data of each table and then will export that data to a uh, data lake account okay now in the source we need to select a data set okay so either we can create a new data set or we can reuse this okay so i am going to reuse why because in the lookup activity uh, I already have the data set that fulfill my requirement. So come to the setting. This is my lookup source data set. Okay. I just need this uh, table because uh, my all the tables comes under this data set only. I am going to retrieve a table of uh, this serverless uh, database. So for this serverless database, I already have one data set. So I am going to reuse. If we don't have, then we have to create a data set uh, for this. Okay. Now, uh, how to create uh, this uh, data set uh, <coughs> that uh, already explained in uh, lookup activity. Okay. That I already explained in my lookup activity. So just refer that video. Now let's come to the for each activity inside for each activity click on source mm. lookup source okay we need to give database name let's give the database name <coughs> now i want to uh, fetch our table so select uh, let's give the dynamically Okay, so uh, we know uh, this is our table name. We were able to fetch the table name. Okay, so this will be our table name. Go to the copy, add dynamic, S dynamic. Okay, select star from and table name. I want to get our dynamic. Hold on. Table name should be dynamic item dot name. Okay. At the rate item dot name. So table name I want to face uh, dynamically. So in every iteration uh, we will have our new table name based on the output of lookup activity select a star from item dot name okay and what item dot name is uh, giving item dot name is uh, giving a table name okay so every time when the for each activity which executes it uh, will give uh, one a new table name based on the output of lookup activity let's click on okay okay so my source is done okay now let's go to the sync <coughs> in the sync uh, I have a sync uh, data set that uh, I already explained uh, multiple times uh, or I can create a new data set also but uh, let's uh, reuse this uh, in my copy activity I explained about this uh, sync data set like how to create uh, this data set okay or I can create let's create a new one okay don't make a more confusion so uh the source de destination is data lake gen 2 account so let's go with this <coughs> i want to store in a uh, parquet format okay let's click on parquet now give the data name nyc taxi okay now link service okay so uh, let's use this link service that i created okay now uh, file path let's assign some file path uh, this one okay let's click on okay so uh, source and sync is done so let's go to the pipeline activity and debug
we'll see whether it gets success or we will see any error <coughs> um we need to wait it got failed why invalid object name calendar source is equal to invalid object name calendar something is wrong hold on let's see some more error In, okay or uh, it is giving invalid object name hold on we will see select star from sys let's see whether we are able to face data or not calendar we are able to face data from here we should be able to uh, fetch uh, in copy activity also invalid object name calendar why it is giving invalid object name uh, this is my develop and this is my external table okay uh, okay got it uh, because if we don't specify schema default it takes uh, uh, db or dot calendar but here uh, our all the data is with schema either with branch or with calendar okay so we need to modify a little bit okay so what modification we have to do let me tell you select star from uh, sys dot tables join sys dot schemas s so we need a uh, schema name and table name both okay s on t dot schema id is equal to s dot schema id <coughs> it is giving some value hold on yeah so uh now uh, i am going to modify my query little bit okay so t dot name okay will be table name and s dot name will be schema name okay now let's use this query in a uh, lookup activity okay because we will get a uh, schema name and table name both let's come here put this okay now schema name and table name we will get both okay let's do okay now come to the forage inside the forage we need to uh, reassign our table name for each i'm sorry uh, my screen is not working hold on inside the for each uh, we have a copy activity come to the source in the copy activity we need to modify uh, this uh, table name okay so let's uh, remove uh, this select star from um, at the rate concave okay at the rate concave uh, item dot 
स्कीमा नेम कॉमा आइटम डॉट नेम ओके बट बिटवीन दिस वी नीड आर डॉट लेट्स रिमूव दिस लेट्स सी आइटम डॉट स्कीमा नेम ओके नाउ वॉट आई एम डूइंग सो आफ्टर गिविंग करेक्ट नेम यूजिंग कॉन्केट स्कीमा नेम एंड आइटम डॉट नेम मीन टेबल नेम लेट्स क्लिक ऑन ओके सो सोर्स इज फाइन नाउ सिंक सिंक इज फाइन बट स्टिल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू वेरीफाई वन मोर टाइम सो फॉर सिंक दिस इज माई सिंक डेटा सेट सो फाइल पाथ इज सिंक एंड फाइल नेम आई वॉन्ट टू असाइन डायनामिकली सो वॉट वुड बी द फाइल नेम सो आई वॉन्ट अ फाइल नेम शुड बी आई थिंक लेट्स पैरामीटराइज इज पैरामीटराइज इट फाइल नेम शुड बी द टेबल नेम ओके सो लेट्स क्लिक अ न्यू पैरामीटर हेयर गिव द फाइल नेम ओके असाइन दिस ओके नाउ वेन आई एड एनी थिंग पैरामीटराइज एट द डेटा सेट आइर सोर्स डेटा सेट और सिंक डेटा सेट ओके सो हेयर एट द सिंक डेटा सेट फाइल नेम आई डिड पैरामीटराइज सो वेन आई कम टू द पाइप लाइन इन द सिंक वी नीड टू असाइन अ फाइल नेम ओके सो आई वॉन्ट फाइल नेम शुड बी माई आइटम डॉट नेम ओके फाइल नेम शुड बी टेबल नेम ओके सो लेट्स डिबक दिस अगेन come to the pipeline this is old output let it let's refresh this <coughs> okay let's debug this so we can see the copy is happening so where the copy is happening copy is happening at sync path so let's go and verify the sync path come to the sync path uh come here again click on sync path so a file should create uh, with the table name so we can see a file is getting create with the table name so vendor file created uh just now now my time is 447 it's a 446 uh, 58 so it is creating trip type trip data green park uh, so whatever the table name is there it is creating a file name uh, with a uh, same name using this uh, copy activity so what i did uh, first i uh, created uh, one uh, lookup activity then i created a for each activity so lookup activity is uh, retrieving all the required uh, table from a server list database then for each uh, activity is iterating over every table and it is uh, running for each table and copying the data of each table and then moving data to uh, azure data lake gen2 account uh, and then again creating a one another file call of parquet type okay so that's all about uh, this uh, for each activity with a lookup activity thank you